I'm Alberta and I'm here with Dan McFarland, founder of Houston Skateboards. This is really cool because it is downtown East End and we are right in the historic building of Ironworks. So brand new store right in this building. So what made you want to go from pro skating to starting your own skating business? Well, I was ranked top 20 in the world on the pro circuit and my sponsors, Vision Skateboards, licensed their brand to some other big box company and I said hey man I should go independent and then I began competing independently after that still pro and then um, learn entrepreneurship and then it developed into this and once I discovered Houston skateboards the city naturally uh, gravitated toward it toward it and I'm born in Houston at um, Herman Hospital I'm from Southwest Houston, so that's I've always been repping Houston. So I wanted to make a brand to do that for all of us. Yeah. And when, what, like, when did you keep have this idea in mind, like exactly to open your store? Like, when did it hit you? Like, I want to open it in this store. So I never wanted to open a store. Surprisingly, Houston Skateboard started out as a brand. I got it in other stores. I even got it in Zoomies. And then some people approached me and said, you're cool. Come to my car show. Come to the brewery, St. Arnold's. Mm -hmm. And then I went to Comic Palooza. And the next thing I know, people are asking me, where's my store? And so I unsuspectingly created the demand for a store. And here we are today with the Houston Skateboard nice. sto brand store. Well deserved. Like, look at these designs right here, guys. I mean, these are really sick. Like, everything is Houston as fuck just like we like it down here <laughs> so um being that houston is a major skateboarding city what do you have to offer to the skateboarding community aside from premium quality products well i made a skateboard ramp area as you can hear in the background yeah. the kids are loving it skaters from young teens to their late 20s are back there shredding it up and they have not stopped it's been a couple hours so <laughs> cool. also i give private lessons here. I'm going to be giving a free skate clinic once a week. And I've trained thousands, including Sean White and tons of kids in Houston that are now pro. And uh, I've, that's my way of uh, just passing the torch and consistently giving back in a way that they can utilize their talent, skills, and abilities, and at least have fun, but some might turn pro. Exactly, just like you did. Yeah. Like, so you have a unique history of conducting skate contests, like in the past, uh, being involved with like giveaways, the tattoos and things like that. I oh, saw yeah. you did that before. And even collaborating with local bands, like I saw that it broke off, was like from, from the beginning, like one of the local bands that you had collaborating for amazing shows, like for skating events, like at the, like the skate jams. So are there any plans to continue? Well, we're doing it right here at the Houston Skateboard Store. We got, uh, we're going to have some events here. We're, uh, we're having an event right now. So actually the, the first person to get a Houston Skateboards tattoo is upstairs right now. So cool. it just continues. And if you want to get a Houston Skateboards tattoo, we have a tattoo shop next door. Come over, get some inspiration, slap it on. What are some ways that you can think of that would keep the skate community alive? Well, like I said, I'm going to be giving free skate clinics, skate lessons. You can just come here and skate for free. All you need to do is sign a waiver. That keeps everything alive and moving. And I'm always mentoring. I'm always teaching. I'm always uh, giving advice, passing my knowledge and my experience on to other skaters. Mm -hmm. And that's just the way I do it. And what about others? Like, what do you think other skaters in this community, what do you think they can do to keep it alive as well on their part? I think I'm my what I'm trying to do out here. I'm always trying to set an example of what you can do to keep skateboarding alive and to skate for longevity, to skate for life. And really in the end, that's the, the main goal. And by setting an example, like creating the store and creating facilities like this, I'm always doing that. And that's how other skaters can do it too. You can start your own brand, you know, or you can um, teach others. That's like, honestly, the best thing you can do as a person. It's like, you could be a champion skater, but if you don't pass that knowledge on, it's kind of useless so uh the best thing we can do is help others so you're the guy that they can come to for advice yes. how to start how to do this exact thing that you're doing to get where you are 
So this is the guy you go to, Dan McPartland. I literally have one of my students from 20 years ago from Van Skate Park on I-10 and Silver is here today skating right now in the back. Damn. Yeah. That's really cool. You're just basically passing the torch. Absolutely. Been cool. doing it yeah. for, for, uh, for decades. Yeah. Well, congratulations on opening your store. Seriously. Yeah. And thank you for coming out. Yeah. I can't wait to see like everybody that comes through the, all of these shows. Like I know this is going to be like a new place for them to just be all the time as well. Yeah. So a great addition to the DIY scene for sure. For sure. Thank you for doing it. Hey, thank you for coming out. <laughs> all right. I'll see you soon. Thank you. Thanks.